I'm here for ASVIC TV at Proclamation Park in Ringwood for meet three of the AV throwers for season 2011-12 and what a fitting choice of venue it is having produced such greats as Scott Martin and Ben Harradine but it is our elite women that are the focus of today as we took the time to catch up with some of the leading ladies of the Victorian throwing scene. You opened your AV Throws account in December with a PB, 57.24 in the uh, discus. That must give you plenty of confidence heading into the business end of the season. Yeah, definitely. Um, just, it had been a little while before I had a PB, so um, yeah, really good to get to get one out that early in the season as well. I don't typically throw that well uh, before Christmas. Fourth at the World Juniors in 2010, now in an Olympic year. Is it a silly question to ask what the goal is for 2012? Uh, fourth at the World Juniors, was, was I was happy with that, that was really good. and. All that sort of stuff is just a bit of a stepping stone to what to what's to come. So yeah, of course, there's nothing else for me in 2012. So I'll be aiming for the Olympics. But um, yeah, I, can't, I understand it's a it's a lot, I'm still a little way off. But look, I just got to give it a crack. At the same time, plenty of competition in your own backyard as well. Obviously, uh, a lot of good competition at uh, a national level. Daniel Samuels in particular comes to mind. Yeah, well, I've been really lucky with that. I mean. Yeah, I've been coming second to Danny for such a long time and it's frustrating sometimes but at the same time I'm so lucky to get that, that competition and good for both of us I guess. Sure about how the back was going to hold up tonight but it ended up being quite a good result. Yeah it was actually. I, um, I was a bit sore after a session I'd done on the weekend so I was a bit, I've got country champs on the weekend so I was a bit tentative as to whether I would throw tonight um, just to not, not risk it so I came out and, and warmed up and secured it up and it wasn't, wasn't sore at all so um, I, got, I got a good result. So where's the focus go from here for the rest of the season? Oh, Olympic qualifier, of course. Uh, 61 and a half is, um, is the A qualifier. So for an automatic selection, I need to do that twice and, and then place well at the um, trials, which are in March. So there's not much time left, but um, tonight was the best opening throw of a season that I've, that I've had. So um, yeah, all, all looking positive, but that, uh, that's the only aim. Um, We're in a Paralympic year, obviously. That's a big focus for you. How's the preparation coming for Can you believe that? it's 2012 already? It's I kind can't. of scary. I just can't. Uh, preparation for that, it's going well. We're, so I'd like to say we're on par, um, and I think we are actually. So we're coming back from surgery last year, post World Championships, uh, and it's baby steps, but, um, but we're slowly getting there. Can you tell us a bit more about that surgery? What happened exactly? A bit more exactly? about the surgery. Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> I did a medial collateral tear in my uh, my elbow tendon uh, po uh, pre-world championship so I threw with a, a torn ligament and uh, we had it booked in to have, have fixed after that so they, they replaced it with a, a nice big ligament for my wrist, my good wrist too so I can't do it again otherwise I might need to uh, borrow your one. Gabrielle getting right up around your personal best tonight, great way to open 2012. Yeah, no, I'm stoked with that. I came in here thinking I'd just have a good easy comp, technical comp, and um, I'd have hoped for 65 and I got it, so I guess, guess I should be happy with that. In an Olympic year now, made uh, two Commonwealth Games appearances. Confident you can get that uh, required qualifier for the Olympic oh, debut? Of course, of course. You have to tell yourself you can do it before you can do it. But um, yeah, 69 is a B and 71, 50 is an A, so it's also the national record, so it'll be a double, double joy for me, I reckon. Growing up in the family that you did, your father Brian obviously a very respected coach, was it inevitable that you'd fall into throwing at some point in time? Um, yeah, well it was between that and swimming and um, I thought about looking at the bottom of a pool for the rest of my life while <laughs> throwing things, I chose throwing things. Yes, yes, mum's like a dietitian for throwers and dad's got the technical side and then my coach as well and my brother obviously is my training partner so very family oriented. <laughs> just entered 2012 and you've had a whirlwind 2011. Is it hard to imagine topping that this year? Uh, you can always top it. Um, World Juniors coming up, so hopefully I get a qualify and then off to Barcelona and hopefully do as well as I did at World Youth. Can you tell us a little bit about your experiences at World Youth? 
I didn't have any expectations. I just wanted to make it the final. And after a qualifying round, I made it to the final and I was stoked. And then throwing in the final, I was like, oh, these girls are huge. And after the last round, the fourth girl threw and then I knew I had a third place medal. So yeah, I was just happy with the medal. And how important are these AV throwers meets as part of your preparation leading up to competitions like this? They're phenomenal. They're based around throwing, obviously, so they're designed so you get the best results possible. And Well, it's my first AV throwers, so um, it was really fun. I think it's important to get comps into your training as well because it's easy to, you know, to train uh, seven, eight times a week and to not have any comps. You can't come comp time. What are you going to do? So it's important to, to put the, the comps into your training because it just helps with preparation. The more competitions you do, the better you are when you get to the higher ranks. But I think the other thing with the throwers meet is just the atmosphere. So And you can compete men and women together and compete with your mates and stuff like that. So that, that part of it's really good. And, and uh, it's a bit of fun too.